More questions are being raised over whether the business case supports a new Royal BC Museum. The BC government released a redacted version. That extensive analysis confirmed that the cost to repair or upgrade the museum's buildings would exceed the cost to replace them with a new modern facility. She says the old museum would need significant seismic upgrades and is built with hazardous materials. The government released photos of some of the problems with the museum, including incidents of flooding, deteriorating parts of a wall, and areas where the museum has run out of room. In the release of the business case, government officials outlined options that were explored earlier, including keeping the museum as is, replacing it on a new site, replacing it on the existing site, and revitalizing it and repairing it. Mark faced questions over why schools in dire need of seismic upgrading haven't been given priority over the museum. We've doubled our numbers and investment on seismic upgrading schools. Of course I care about children and protecting children. We're also investing in more hospitals. 17 projects are underway across this province. We've got an aggressive capital investment across this province because we know that we have a duty to protect our public assets. Opposition critic for finance, Liberal MLA Peter Millibar, points out not all of the details have been released. But the most troubling part is a third of the report has been redacted um, for the public not to look at things, important things like risk assessment and value for money. But that's not the only concern. BC Green MLA Adam Olson, a member of the Sartlip First Nation, says the government needs to return items to Indigenous people, not house them. The reality is, is there's thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of items that don't need a, a building to be constructed in order for it to be repatriated. What it needs is a museum that understands and respects Indigenous people and has a commitment to repatriation. Mark says the province will be looking to the federal government and private donors for help with costs. However, the public backlash has been growing since the project was announced almost two weeks ago. So far, it seems unlikely if the release of some of the details behind the decision will result in an upswing of support for it. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.